Hi, I'm Christian Gatti, and this is a video tutorial for setting up an Android development environment on Mac OS X Lion. The steps taken here should work the same as far back as Leopard as far as I know. First, we want to check to see that the Java development kit is installed. Uh, seeing as this is a fresh installation of Lion, uh, I can tell you that Java is not installed by default on this system. So, to go ahead and verify, just in case you're not on a, uh, like a fresh install, go ahead and open your finder, and go to your applications, scroll down to utilities, right from that folder, scroll down again, until you get to your terminal. I want you to open that. Now, you're going to type uh, Java and hit enter. Now you'll see we have no Java runtime present requesting install. That's because that's just what happens on a fresh install of Lion. It is, is installed by default. However, if it is installed, you'll see a bunch of text telling you that like, oh, you didn't like type in proper commands and whatnot. So if you see a string of text, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You have Java installed. However, if you don't, just go ahead and hit install. Agree to the terms and allow software update, uh, update to download the software.
Okay. Now that the update is completely installed, just go ahead and hit OK. And now we will open up a web browser. And we are going to navigate to developer dot android. Sorry about that. First time open up the opening up the browser. Um, okay, so next we're going to do what we're going to do is click on this SDK tab and then click here for OSX Intel. Download should begin automatically. There it is. And just in the meantime, we're going to download a, another piece of software called the Eclipse IDE. So we're going to head and Google uh, Eclipse and go ahead and click on this link here, eclipse.org. Now get to downloads. You want Eclipse Classic 3.7.2. And you're gonna pick your uh, like your favorite 32 bit or 64 bit. Generally speaking, if you have more than four gigabytes of RAM or four gigabytes or more of RAM, then you're going to go ahead and select 64 bit. If not, 32 bit will suffice. Okay, and now you can select either this download link right here or a direct link to the file, so it picks the best mirror for you. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And now that is downloading as well. Okay. Now, uh, once everything is done, well, obviously not everything is done, but we have the SDK already downloaded, so that's what we need to work with right now. Open up Finder and go to your Downloads folder. And as you can see, well, it was zipped up, but Safari has unzipped it for us. So what we're going to want to do is move this to your uh, your main folder, your main home folder, sorry. So go ahead and open a new window. Um, go navigate to desktop. It's just to navigate back up to your users folder. MMC is my name for this. And we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop into this home folder. Of course, not on top of everything. Okay, we can go ahead and exit the downloads folder and open up the SDK folder. Now we're going to want to go to open the, the tools folder and double click on the Android executable right here. Go ahead and click open. Just going to minimize that right there. And in a second, the Android SDK will launch. Okay, what you're going to want to do now is go ahead and select the Tools folder and click Install One Package. Click Accept All. Click Install. And now you'll see it's downloading right now. So we'll wait for that to complete. is fine. Ignore anything that's going on here. Well, to be complete, 100%. Done. Okay, so we can go ahead and close that. And now we're done with the SDK for now. What you can do, if you like, is to select whatever Android um, platform level you're going to be working with. If you're going to be working with Ice Cream Sandwich, I'd recommend selecting this one and you just go through the same steps, select, install, and we'll be fine. But I'm not going to do that right now as the internet uh, download speed isn't the greatest for me at the moment. So you're going to go ahead and uh, exit the SDK. 
can exit. Um, well, actually, we're not going to exit it. We're going to go, and if you don't know this shortcut, you can just right click on here and navigate back to your home folder. Now we'll go to our downloads folder, and it appears that our download is about to be completed for Eclipse. So we'll just wait a couple seconds. Okay, now we'll see here it has a .tar extension. You can just go ahead and double click that and it will extract. Okay, now we have the folder Eclipse. Now the next thing you want to do, just go ahead and open a new finder window. Go back to your home folder. And drag and drop your Eclipse folder into either into yeah, it's fine. You can bring it into your home folder, you can bring it into your applications folder, it doesn't matter just wherever you want to keep it. Um we can exit that and this. Now go into your Eclipse folder and launch the Eclipse application right here. Eclipse is an application download from the internet. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and click open. And it will begin loading. Okay. It's asking you to select a workspace. You can make this whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as the default, and I'm going to ask it to not ask me again. So by checking my box, I can click OK, and it will complete loading for the first time. Okay, so now we have Eclipse right here. We can go ahead and exit out the welcome. And now here is like your Eclipse IDE. Now, next thing we want to do, go ahead and open up your browser again. New window. And we're gonna go back to developer.android.com really quick. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and click the SDK again and go down to ADT 16.0.1. This might be a different number by the time you get to it, but just you're going for the ADT plugin for Eclipse. Click on that. We're gonna to go to installing the ADT plugin. And now here is a URL that we're gonna to wanna to have. So we're gonna select it, and we're going to copy it, just Command C. And now we're gonna switch back to Eclipse. Okay, now we're going to go to help, Install new software. We're going to click Add right here. In the name, we're going to type ADT. And in location, we're going to paste in what we just copied. So it's https colon slash slash dl dash ssl dot google dot com slash android slash eclipse slash. Go ahead and click OK and it will resolve that information and sure enough here we have developer tools you can expand if you want to see what you're going to be installing but we're going to be selecting everything so go ahead and click the check box right there and you're going to click next and it's going to start as you can see calculating the requirements and dependencies it's just going to be basically downloading and installing the, SP, the um, sorry not the SDK the development tools that will integrate your Android development into the Eclipse IDE. Okay, 
just with everything here is listed that was listed before, just go ahead and hit next and accept the terms of the license agreements and click finish. Now it will begin the installation. I usually go ahead and click details. You don't have to. It's just a little bit more detailed information about what's going on. And you can also click run in the background if you like. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave this window open so we can see what's going on and see that it is downloading and installing it. And in the meantime, we don't need the browser window open anymore, so we'll just go ahead and exit that. Yes, we understand that we're installing software that contains unsigned content. That's fine, just go ahead and click OK. Okay, and we're going to want to restart Eclipse. So go ahead and click Restart Now. Which has been saved. And Eclipse will load up again. Now if you didn't select uh, keep, the, keep the given workspace as default and don't ask you again, it will prompt you again to select your workspace. Just go ahead and click OK. But for me, because I clicked, I selected Don't Ask Me Again, it's not, so it's just going to load up. Okay, now, right here, we have the SDK uh, loaded. We just need to verify that this is where we put it. Or, no, we don't want that. There we go, MMC, Android SDK, Mac OS X. Click open. Okay. Or, sorry, that's for if you install the new SDK. But we have the existing one. And we'll go ahead and do that. We have it listed. Okay. Click next. Um, this is up to you if you want to select, uh, contribute usage statistics. I usually do. It's anonymous. There's not nothing that hurts you by doing it, but it's completely up to you. You can select yes or no, whatever you want to do. So go ahead and click finish after clicking yes or no. And there you go. Eclipse is now set up with Android, uh, with your Android uh, development environment. Your most noticeable thing that you can see here is you have this button right here, which opens up the Android SDK manager. And this button here opens up the Android Virtual Device Manager. Also, when you want to make a new project, you can go ahead and click here. And you should see Android listed here. And you would want to make a new Android project for any kind of um, new project you're setting up. If you don't see that there, you can go ahead and click File, New, Project, and then Android will be listed here and you'll be able to select the same Android project. Okay, well that's it for setting up a Android development environment in Mac OS X Lion. Uh, that's, you're pretty much all set up now. So thank you very much for watching and have fun developing.